guys welcome back to my channel my name is Polly Carter and I'm so happy you could join me today today I'm giving the house a good cleaning and boy do I have a lot of laundry to do uh, I'd love for you to join me perhaps I can inspire you to work along with me as we reset for the week if you're new to my channel I want to welcome you I love to cook bake, decorate, and share on the many activities going on here at the house. I'm an Eskimo girl from Alaska with a simple dream to live my best life. Now let's get going. Today I'm going to tidy up the house. I'm not going to do a deep clean. I just need to make it company ready, if you know what I mean. It was a really long, busy weekend and I didn't have a lot of time to keep up on the laundry. You know, it seems like I've really been running on the weekends lately. So these Monday resets have been so important in getting my week off on the right foot. I'm starting in our living room today. Uh, this is our little dog, Chauncey. He's our, our little boy, and he's a Coton de Talor. He's 11 months old at the filming of this video, and he wants to be my big helper today. Such a big boy. Uh, I put all his toys in a basket behind the sofa so he knows to go into that and grab his toys out and play with them. So they usually scatter uh, throughout the house, but I love it. I love every moment of it. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I'd really love for you to join me on this YouTube journey. I really uh, would love for you to subscribe to my channel and help me grow. Hopefully I'll be able to inspire you and motivate you along the way. If you're returning, thanks. It is so awesome to see you again. Toss the papers into the recycling along with some junk mail and I think the flowers were just starting to lose their petals so it was time to toss them out too before they started making a mess on the kitchen counter. The candle I'm lighting is a coffee scented candle and it's just so calming to work to. My husband bought me this little candle wick trimmer as a Christmas stocking gift, and I find I'm using it so much. I never realized how smoky candles would get without trimming the wicks, and I used to use a pair of scissors when I noticed the candle starting to get bad, uh, but now it's really nice to use a wick trimmer and I don't have to worry about washing the soot off of my scissors. In Alaska, now is the time to put all the woodworking projects away. All the kayaks have been repaired, and now is the time to go out boating as the ice begins to break up and the snow melts away. All the beautiful reindeer fawns are being born right now. I remember the moose calving about this time of year, and they would all come in towards the city. They would want to be closer to people. The bears are all waking up and they're on the hunt for food after a long winter. The beautiful calves that were born in my backyard was so moving. I sometimes felt like I was the watcher or keeper over the cows as they came to give birth. They needed to be in a safe place as their little ones were so vulnerable right now. Spring is upon us and let us give thanks for the new growth new growth that is in us and the growth that is in nature that we see every day.
I noticed that my soap dispenser was really needing to be refilled. So uh, I went into the laundry room to grab the gallon jug to refill this and I'm pretty much at the end. So I'm trying to get every last little drop out of the jug. Um, I use this jug to refill all the dispensers in the house rather than having, um, you know, all different types of scents and small little uh, containers that all look different. I uh, just use the same scent and um, refill from this jug. After cleaning the counters, then I scrub out the sink and put all the towels into the laundry. Now I'm moving into the laundry room. Uh, I think I had about five loads of laundry to wash this past couple of days, which is very abnormal for us. Uh, we usually just have uh, maybe two or three loads per week. There's just my husband and I and our little boy Chauncey who doesn't create a lot of mess. <laughs> Sweet Chauncey is just needing a little extra loving today. I don't know, he was in an extra cuddly mood, so I'm going to take advantage of it. This sounds crazy, but I'm saving all the dryer lint for a special project that I hope to do with you. Speaking of other videos, I plan to film a uh, cook with me and bake with me uh, video. I also have a bathroom project that I've uh, had on my list of things to accomplish here around the house. So I'm happy to film that if you're interested in seeing something like that. Okay, this is an odd question, but how do you fold your socks? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I like to buy all the same type of socks in solid white and solid black, and then I stack them up and put them in a little basket on my shelf in the um, closet. Now my husband prefers all of his socks to be folded. I've read in organizing books that some people fold their socks in half and tuck them into a tray uh, or a drawer, but I think it's a space saver for my socks when they are all stacked together. I was just wondering what you guys did. So now I'm putting away our napkins. We generally use our cloth napkins for a couple, three days, and then I trade them out fresh midweek. I don't know if it's my OCD, but when I put the fresh napkins in the basket on the sideboard, I like to put the freshly laundered ones in the back. Then when we use the new napkins, I take them from the front. Does anyone else rotate their linens like that? Now I'm resetting the table for dinner tonight. Uh, these are the new plates and placemats that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I can link the video below if you haven't seen that. 
all the dishes just came out of the dishwasher and are ready to use. I wasn't sure which way to display the napkins for these settings. Uh, one of the ways I tried was to put the napkin under the salad plate. And then the other way I set up the table was to use the lavender napkin rings that I purchased uh, with the set. I think I like the napkin rings the best, but what do you think? Should I just put the napkin under the plate? I think both are really pretty. I just love the bird patterns on these plates and I was so excited to have something fresh for springtime decorating. wanted to show you a close-up photo of this table runner. I found it at a thrift store uh, downtown and I thought it was so beautiful. It's not completely finished but it didn't matter to me. I really loved it. Now I'm planning my weekly meals in the meal planner and compiling the grocery list. It's been nice to have a record of the meals that I've made in the weeks past. It helps me to create more variety in my meal planning. Keeping a menu has also helped on nights when I have absolutely no idea what to make for dinner. I just look back at one of the quick and easy meals I have listed and I'm able to uh, make that. I'm using my cell phone to refer back to our uh, calendar that we keep online to see what nights uh, I do not have to make meals for so I don't over order on produce. I usually order all the groceries through Instacart. <music> for joining me today. I hope you'll come back and visit my channel again. Please subscribe so you can get notices when I post future videos on YouTube. Until next time, feel free to send a note on Instagram or catch me on the web at pollycarter.com. Bye!